One way to interpret the regression analysis results from logistic regression is to do marginal prediction plots. This is a very useful technique because it's a generic technique. Instead of trying, having to memorize how every possible different nonlinear regression model is interpreted, you just need one tool. Another advantage is that this tool gives you the effects on the original scale of the dependent variable. In the case of logistic regression analysis, you will directly see what is the effect of each independent variable on the predicted probability. To do plotting, we need some data. And I will use the Hosmer and Levinson data. So this is from a, a widely cited regression analysis book. And the data are about babies born to different kinds of mother, mothers. The dependent variable is whether the, the baby was born as low birth weight, defined as less than two and a half kilos. And we are be looking at uh, the weight of the mother at last menstrual period, the race of the mother, and whether the mother smoked during pregnancy as our interesting, in the interesting uh, independent variables. We are first going to uh, fit a linear probability model and logistic regression model to this data. And I'm using Stata here. We have uh, the linear probability model here and we have the logistic regression model here. And the dependent variable was the low birth weight and we can see from the linear probability model it's easy to interpret. We get uh, the predicted probability of having a low birth weight baby it increases for its 0.22 higher for black women than for white women. That is the reference category. It is a uh, 15% higher for smokers than for non-smokers. So it's, we can directly interpret the effects. Here, the odds ratios, we can say that the, black, the odds for a black mother are 3.5 times greater than for a white mother. But that doesn't really tell us anything about uh, the, uh, the increase in probability because the odds is, is a, a proportional effect. We have to know it's a relative effect. You have to know uh, what is the, the, uh, the original odds that is being increased uh, by three and, a three and a half. Plotting is very useful to understand what does these effects look like. So when we compare uh, the effects of race and smoke, we can't really, these are not really comparable. So it's difficult to say uh, whether 3.5 increase in odds is a, a, large, a larger effect than uh, 22% increase in, in probability because they are expressed in different scale and we're usually interested in the original scale of the variable. Also uh, we can't from this model directly say what is the uh, expected difference between black smokers and white non-smokers. The whites are the base category here so black mothers is uh, 0.22 and smokers is 0.16 so it's about 40% difference between uh, black smokers and white non-smokers. Easy to see from, from this model. Here uh, we uh, say that uh, the black mother has 3.5 times greater odds and smokers have 2.5 times greater odds. So we multiply these together and it's about eight or nine something like that times higher odds for black smokers than white smokers. But that's difficult to interpret. So how we can do that is uh, we can apply the marginal predictions plots. The status margin command or R's effects command will do that for you quite easily. This is from Stata. So this is the linear predictions and we can see from the linear model that the effect of birth weight here is the same for, for all kinds of mothers. So we have three races here and the effect of birth of weight, effect of weight at the last menstruation is, is the same for all mothers. So the mothers only differ with uh, respect to the base level. So what's the intercept because we estimated the effect of, of uh, race. For the logistic regression model we can see that it's uh, the same base difference is here but the shape of these curves is different. So this is uh, curves uh, flattens more steep, flattens here more and these are a lot steeper curves. So every when we have a uh, and a, a mother that doesn't weight much, so these are pounds, then uh, for all races the likelihood of having a, a, a low weight baby is, is large. And we can see that for all races uh, 
the likelihood gets, gets smaller, but also that the likelihood of probability actually converges here. So if you are uh, a very big mother, then you're going to have a very big child. And uh, which one of these fits the data better is uh, partly an empirical question. So one way to understand which of these plots works better is to plot the data over these plots and just see which one of the which two sets of lines explains the data better. We can see here that the linear probability model probability model predicts a negative probability for some heavy white mothers and this model always predicts a between z one, 0 and 1. So this is statistically more ap appealing. But if we don't have any mothers here, so if all white mothers are, are quite light, then the fact that we predict implausible values when we go beyond our data is not really a problem. So this is then which one of these is uh, better? Uh, it's, uh, you can justify it based on theory, but you can also check empirically which one of these fits the data better. The logistic regression analysis is typically used by default because it's the safer choice to apply, but this linear probability model can be used as well as long as you don't do negative predictions or predictions that exceed one for any of the cases in your sample.